Hey kids, it's me, Tony. Yep, I'm here with a little video. It's gonna be a two-part video. And it may be a little controversial for some people. So if you're not into anything like that, if you're, you know, purely here for fun times and unboxings and uh, just general stuff like that, you may want to click off. I'm just kind of warning you because I find that this is sort of controversial in the YouTube uh, world, especially fashion and design and luxury. So, um, so I wanted to talk about is the whole authentic replica, non-authentic um, situation and just kind of, you know, voice my opinion on a couple of things and also look at one particular brand um, to talk about how you can distinguish an authentic from a replica of this particular uh, item or items and you know what you need to look for because people do have free will and they may not want to buy um, the, the brand but they may want uh, the same type of item and are willing to pay less or to pay for something that's really not authentic. And that is, you know, their choice. But sometimes we want to make sure that what we're buying is really, really the real thing when we really, really want the real thing. So that's what I want to talk about. So today's subject, our item we want to discuss now, this is one where there's a boatload of replicas. So I want to start with really looking at the original, okay? <clears throat> and the item I want to discuss today are Oreos. Yes, Oreos. Single stuff Oreos. Now, I know there's a double stuff Oreo, and if you really want a video on that, I can do one. And as we all know, recently Oreo has come out with a lot of different types of Oreos. Uh, many of them are seasonal, and if you really want uh, to see that, let me know. I can do some of those. It's, they come out now in an array of colors and flavors, and even those have replicas, amazingly. You know, and also Oreo has understood that it needs to be more inclusive. And I've seen that it has expanded into other things such as uh, Oreo Thins for those of us, you know, looking to keep our girlish figure and uh, even Oreo Churros. So, uh, you know, I think it's a brand that needs to be discussed, but it's a brand that's often imitated. And you just need to know that the Oreo you think you have is the Oreo you really want. So that's what we're really going to look at today. So let's start with the packaging. As you can see, the Oreo packaging has very crisp, bright colors, predominantly blue, but you'll see that there is a significant shading on ombre coloring that comes down to the actual uh, photo of the cookie itself. Now, obviously this is not to size. It's uh, so you can identify it as an Oreo cookie. And of course it has extra cream all around it to indicate that you're going to get a very robust product when you buy an Oreo cookie. Also, just to let you know, the packaging is a very ASMR moment. It's very sturdy, very substantial, and very consistent uh, no matter what part of the country you're in. Now, um, depending on if you're abroad, it may look a little different, but it's still the Oreo cookie. For those of you that may not know about the House of Oreo, it was established in 1912. There's great mystery. 
around the meaning of the word Oreo. The original packaging that an Oreo came in was gold, so some believe that's where the Oreo uh, wording comes from. Now many others believe that this comes from a Latin word that means laurel, and the original uh, version of the Oreo had a laurel pattern. And many of Nabisco's other products also included names that were uh, botanical. So, a little bit about that. A little bit, I am going to tell you, not that this is a drama channel, but there is a dark secret about Oreos. But more to come. So anyway, this packaging, you'll also notice on the Oreo package this made things very easy for you to get to the Oreos themselves. It has a little lift. you notice there's a lift. You will not necessarily find these in the replica Oreos. So be sure one of the first things is to look for this easy access lift tab. If you don't see it, chances are it's not an authentic Oreo. So let's proceed. Open this up to display all the lovely Oreos. Easily, easy to reach in and get your Oreos and go about your business. Because let's face it, if you have a cold glass of milk, you do not want that glass of milk getting warm or tepid while you try to break in to an inauthentic package of fake replica Oreo cookies. And so, but let's look at the Oreo cookie itself. All right, here we go. And I'm gonna enter, set some actual photos because I know my camera here is not doing a great there you go, um, job of doing this. Now the Oreo cookie, um, and I wanted to get, sometimes they have a little dust when you open it. So I like to wipe my Oreo cookie just like this to make sure it's clean and ready to go. Um, because you know, some people don't like those little tiny crumbs in that glass of cold milk. And so you can wipe off your Oreo cookie and then that will take care of many of the issues that some people encounter. Now, as I told you, um, there are many things to know about the Oreo cookie and especially initially you will see the logo for Oreo right in the center. Many non-authentic cookies may put something in the center and may attempt to put something similar to Oreo, but beware, if it does not say Oreo, and notice that the O is more like a zero, sort of the opposite of the O in Louis Vuitton, rounded O. Um, it's more of a letter O and very round. This is very narrow. Uh, you will also see that to the above and below the name, there is a small bar. And um, we could measure the distance. It, you'll notice that it begins right after the main upright, the vertical line of the R. And it ends just about in the center of the horizontal lines of the E. In fact, it ends where the middle horizontal bar of the E ends. So, always be sure to check that because there are some high quality uh, replicas out there now that get this very close, but this is very hard to replicate. Now you will notice that there is a little, um, also another vertical bar with two horizontal bars above the Oreo. Now, a little mystique. This is very similar in shape 
to the cross used and known by the Templars. So there is some theory that the Templars may have had something to do with the design of the Orium. You will also see that there are little flowers around the Orium. You will find that there are 12 of those and there are 12 little, uh, almost like SOS um, bars and dots. Now the most distinct part are the ridges. You will notice that there are very defined, very sharp, and there are 90 ridges in an Oreo cookie. Now, uh, many replicas, that's a lot of ridges to have to um, put into their design and they may skip uh, some of those or uh, you will notice, and when I show you some of the um, replicas, you'll see that their ridges are not as defined as an Oreo. And it's very important that when you are looking at replica Oreo cookies, uh, whether or not it's because you care to just uh, fool your friends and buy fake Oreo cookies so they think you can afford Oreo cookies, or if you are just trying, you know, save a little money, but you really enjoy the look and taste of an Oreo cookie, just be sure because, you know, some people can really tell when you have a fake Oreo from any distance and uh, they may come up to you and say something and be rude and ask you as you're at lunch, is that really an Oreo cookie? Really? Are you sure that's not a replica Oreo cookie? And it can be embarrassing. Even when you have true Oreo cookies, authentic Oreo cookies, at your desk or at your table at lunch, and people question, it can be very embarrassing. So, it's best to know so when they do ask you, you can answer. Now, on the inside, of course, is the cream. Now, these are single stuff cookies. So you will notice that uh, the cream is fairly thin, but it's very moist. It's very smooth. And at any point, I can stick the cookie back together again. I can ooze the cream. And in fact, it's uh, referred to as creme. Uh, between the chocolate wafers. It's very important. You'll find many of the replicas that are out there do not have a creme as smooth and as pure white as the Oreo cream cookie or creme cookie. Uh, this is important because some people like to undo their cookie and eat the middle first and then save the chocolate wafers. And a little known fact about an Oreo, you can take an Oreo and if you, you are environmentally conscious, the next time you want to shoe polish somebody's car or do something to somebody's house, may I suggest you Oreo them. If you take these and unscrew them so that there is a little frosting on each side, you can press them to the object you wish to decorate. You can spell out names, you can make patterns, and it's all biodegradable. And if you make a mistake, just remove it. If it's within five seconds, you may still eat the Oreo. It's a rule. This saddens me, but I must tell you of a deep, dark secret. Come closer. We've been talking about Oreo cookies as a standard, as the creme de la creme, so to speak, of all cookie houses. And it's true, but not really, because it pains me to say this, Oreo cookies themselves 
are replicas. Yes, they stole the entire idea of a single stuff sandwich cookie from the original, the original Hydrox cookie developed in 1908. Yes, no, Hydrox is not a replica of Oreo. Oreo is a replica of Hydrox cookies. Now, you will find that a Hydrox cookie is not as sweet as an Oreo cookie, and its cookie is a bit drier than an Oreo wafer. But it still is the original, the truly authentic sandwich cookie. But Oreo usurped them, surpassed them, and has now ruled all the cookie houses of the world as the supreme cookie of all cookies. It only goes to show you that history can be rewritten, that there are alternate facts, and we must all be diligent. This concludes part one. In part two, I will be showing you um, one of the many, many replicas of the Oreo cookie, as well as um, a replica that does not even use the same materials, and yet passes itself off as an Oreo sandwich cookie. More to come. If I have piqued your interest, please subscribe to my channel. I'm usually not this controversial. I'm usually a lot nicer, but I just felt this was something I needed to bring it to your attention. So please subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell if you wanna be notified when part two comes out. 